Hey guys, Ronnie Chavez here for another wall trick tutorial on the palm flip. Okay, this is one I've gotten quite a few requests from lately, so let's get started. All right, so the palm flip, as it sounds, is basically doing a back flip off the wall just using your hands, your palms. Okay, now, before learning this trick, you wanna have a good standing back tuck. And when you go to start first learning this move, you're gonna basically just be doing a back tuck. You're gonna start about arm's distance away from the wall and then just throw a backflip. The main thing right now is just to get comfortable doing a backflip close to a wall without actually hitting it. So you may wanna start out with your being a little bit farther away with maybe just your fingertips barely grazing the wall and then, uh, and then you can throw it. Then as you get comfortable with that, start coming in a little bit closer and closer until you can do it right where your palms are fully flat. Now when doing the backflip this close to the wall, you wanna make sure that you're not fully swinging your arms into the wall. You wanna be setting up and away more just so that you don't clip them practicing this trick. Okay, once you've gotten the feel of that, the palm flip is basically going to be about this far away and you're going to be jumping and planting on the wall with your hands and your arms are swinging up to give you a little bit of that momentum but instead of reaching all the way back up here they're gonna hit the wall at this point and begin pushing you away from the wall and tucking your knees through. So once you've reached that point you've basically done a palm flip. Now to make them a little bit cleaner you can add some momentum by walking or just getting a little bit of speed into it. With this trick, you don't want a lot of speed because your arms don't do a very good job of pushing you away from the wall. So when you're running into it, you want to make sure you're blocking with your legs to kind of send you upwards. And then you're also blocking with your arms away from the wall. And then from that point, because you're so close to the wall, you want to make sure you just tuck your knees in close, tight to your chest as you flip around and push away so that you don't clip. When you're jumping higher and you have more momentum into the wall, you want to consider placing your hands a little bit higher on the wall. So instead of them just being straight in front of you at shoulder height, you want them to be slightly higher than that because if you're jumping into it, then it's going to bring your arms to shoulder height right there. Something else to keep in mind when doing this trick is that you don't want to jump too far away from the wall because it'll actually make you go into it more as you're flipping. You can actually come in a little bit closer if you're timing it right. Sometimes I'm only a foot away from the wall and I'm just jumping out and what that allows being closer to the wall is it allows me to get more push so I can push myself out more. If you're jumping far away then all that momentum is going to keep going into the wall as I do the back flip. Then also, it's easy to sometimes under-rotate this trick, where you land like this, ooh, and can run into the wall with your head. So just make sure when you're learning this trick and doing it, that when you land, you just have your hands ready in case you're gonna go into the wall. You have them here. So that's the palm flip for you guys. It's a fun trick and can be dangerous, so remember to learn these tricks in a gym or on padding with some friends there to help spot you. But otherwise, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials, and thanks for watching. Till next time.